Of course, uh, having come from Switzerland, uh, I uh, knew the art of Chantin Gali, who had built the wonderful machines that would have a chaotic, kinetic movement and, and be artistical and inspiring and fun. And, and I decided that I would try to build some sculptures, so I first recuperated on an old farm a huge metal ring and I put some neon into it and I built uh, the, the, one of my first sculptures called Cossack Man of uh, uh, Ventura. Uh, it left to a Swiss art collection uh, where it's still today. And then uh, in the south of France I wanted to learn how to make uh, sculptures from new metal and I had to learn how to weld and cut metal cut new metal sheets and and so uh, I finally went to a place uh, in, a, in a little uh, plumbery place. Uh, I finally said to somebody, listen, does anybody here know anyone in the surroundings uh, that knows how to, to weld and, 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 and cut metal? And, uh, and then somebody said, well, you know, in saint Andiol, about a half a kilometer from here, I know a man, uh, he has some very strange things standing in the garden. And I said, well, could, could you bring me to this man? And so we, we drove there on a motorcycle and he dropped me off. And I looked in the garden and what he called strange and uh, mystic creatures uh, were wonderful geometrical sculptures by a Greek sculptor called Costa Colontianos, um, who I met there and uh, on the first moment we met uh, I said listen could you teach me how to uh, cut metal and weld and build sculptures and he said of course I could and I said well when can I come and he said well listen uh, you can start right now so I said well listen I have to go back home and uh, and close my house and I'll be there in a half an hour and I start working so already 10 o'clock in the morning I was at work cutting metal and uh, beginning to drill metal and weld metal together and and I enjoyed very much learning how to to sculpt from Costa where I spent uh, roughly two and a half years being an assistant to him learning how to sculpt and I actually participated in uh, in, in executing some of the sculptures that are today in museums and in the Centre Pompidou and in Athens and uh, I uh, was also very inspired by his beautiful wife, who was quite a bit younger than him. She uh, always uh, wore these uh, dresses up to her hips and uh, she had a type of a corn on the head. And I drew for my exhibit in, uh, in the south of France, in Nice, I drew actually a, a wonderful painting of hers, who is also in a private collection today.